Uh, cruise ships are back. Thank God. What would we do? What would we do without obese people filing on to an obese ship to eat food that makes them even more obese while they have to rub antibacterial uh, lotion all over their body every 10 steps they take? You've never been in a cruise ship, right? So uh, what you do is you get on there and then there's just a slave class of people who work on the ship and live on the ship. Um, they tend to be, uh, from like the Cayman Islands or Guana or some shit like that, or a Filipino. And they just like live on the ship, which can't be healthy. You know what I mean? To live on a ship. And it's just an incubator for germs where they're aware of that. So, cause when you're out to sea and you're just trapped indoors with everybody, that's how, uh, viruses spread, obviously. Um, and so every 10 feet, there's just someone going washy, 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 washy. And they just squirt, um, you know, what is it called? Antibacterial. What's that called? Come on, man. Purell. Purell. What the fuck? Purell. But what's, what is it? Antibacterial. What is it called? Come on, man. Huh? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Come on, man. Are you 100% sure I don't have a brain tumor? You're not a doctor. You can't diagnose it. You're fine. So yeah, every 10 steps you just get hand sanitizer. And then you go out to a pool you go out to a pool, so they simulate the land. They simulate the land in the sea. So you're out to sea, first of all, where the Russian submarines can get you, okay? And you're simulating a resort. Why not just go to the fucking resort? If you want to be fat and not explore anything culturally and you want to sit by a pool and drink micheladas until you get bloated like a goddamn dead body that the mafia threw in a fucking canal, why not just go to Cancun to the Hard Rock? And watch me go crazy and, uh, you know, take my fucking bathing suit off and pass out face down in the sauna or do water aerobics next to some Brazilian guy who's drinking himself to death. If you see at a guy by himself at an all-inclusive resort, he's there to slowly kill himself. He lost all his money investing in Bitcoin. He's gambled away his kid's tuition and he's gone, let me just do this fucking leaving Las Vegas style. Okay, I'm going to go to Cancun, all hard rock, $1,100. <laughs> the thing about all-inclusive is it works great for Americans who are spoiled, who like to get value. They like volume over quality. It's great for fat, fucking obese, spoiled Americans, and it's also great for alcoholics. I mean, you're basically saying, hey, dude, you want to attend an open bar for seven days? nobody because when you go to an all-inclusive there's couples who are like not that well off and they just you know they need to be you know there's a cancun class okay there's a cancun class that rests right between the middle class and the lower class it's called cancun class which means you do all inclusives in cancun and you're in between lower class and middle class. You could afford $1,100 off peak in August when it's 125 degrees to fucking stuff your face with infinity amount of food. You're Cancun class. So you go there and you see Cancun class people, right? It's like couples, you know, who have like two jobs and are there for six days. And it's the only week they've had off in the whole decade and they go there and they drink themselves into oblivion and plus uh, Kelly Chestnut is playing at the fucking Cancun Hard Rock or whatever. Kelly Chestnut, one of the fucking, well, I mean, every country singer's name is Chestnut to me. So Randy Chestnut's playing and you go there and you know, you crack a beer and your jeans are falling off and your boot fell in the river, in the river. And then there's just single guys in Speedos from every country around the world, Norway, Sweden. And you always go like, hey man, if you live in such a beautiful place like Norway, why would you be here in the summer, dude? You only get like three months of sunshine in the Norwegian summer. Why don't you just go enjoy like those beautiful mountains, the 12 hours of sunlight, you know? What are you doing in Cancun, Mexico at the Hard Rock Cafe, which is basically the wet willies of hotels? Why are you here? And then you go, oh, you're an alcoholic who knows a good deal when he sees one. This is a 24-hour open bar for you. <laughs> and those are the two types of people you see at an all-inclusive. Alcoholics and people who are in the Cancun class. <laughs> <laughs>